Today we will learn unsupervised classification in QGIS. Using a computer to automatically generate a thematic map from digital remotely sensed imagery by statistically clustering pixels on the basis of spectral similarity. The cluster may then be assigned to labels, for example, class names that is forest, agricultural land, river, water body, habitat, etc. using the analyst field knowledge. So here we already loaded our satellite image which is going to be classified here. And in our last video we'll see how to classify an image in QGIS in super, supervised classification there. So the initial steps in both supervised classification and unsupervised classification is same. So first we have to go to the SBC toolbar that is uh, semi-automatic uh, classification plugins and then we're going to select band set here. So just after refreshing from this drop down menu we'll select the image is going to be classified. After selection, you will see that the band set of all four bands come, is shown in this, in, in this window. Now we have to go to band processing here and select clustering. In supervised classification, we select classification here, but in unsupervised classification, we click on clustering. So this window will appear and everything you can uh, keep same that is select input band level is what method here is two method one is k-means and isodata you can select any one of that i am going to here to show you k-means uh, method so in in you in when you going to uh, exercise this you can uh, select isodata also so you can see if there is any variation in classification so then distance method, yes, it is same. Maximum iteration is already same. In, in case you I select a K means, then we do not have uh, to select here anything that is isodata max standard deviation or isodata minimum class size pixels. But when you going to uh, select isodata method, then you can uh, change here uh, or keep it as it is. And then uh, distance of a minimum distance, so we are going to select run. But here I just uh, uh, change the number of classes that is from 10 to I keep it 15 uh, because the maximum number of classes uh, may reduce the mixing of classes. So select run here. When I click run, it asks for my output file location and name. So, unsup1 and I will also write k means and 14, that is 14 classes there. So, save it. So, run is going on and it will take some time. So, classification and iteration 15 is going on so classification is already is almost done so classification is done here and you will see that unsop one came is spot in the classified file is there so you can uncheck and check it to see that classification is how the classification was done by the computer. So you can see that light green is forest area and deep green is classified here is agricultural land and river is also classified in blue in some cases 
and you can see that this fallow land is little bit classified with this river also. So, there is a little bit mixing up of fallow land with river. So, so you can change your color also from here. If you want to change the color of you know agricultural land to yellow then you have just select here from this identify feature bar that it is band number six band one value six so value six is agriculture so you can make it green uh, sorry yellow and you can also write here that is agricultural land so like way you can change color now you can from here from post processing you can bring the classification report by selecting classification report so it is I select here the answer point came in spot that is classified image and run and so select the location and file name for this report and save it. So report is saved and here also it is shown that how many pixel is in which class and total number uh, total area under class in meter square so likewise you will do unsupervised price classification of your image one thing i can say here if there is a miss uh, mixing of classes as we see here in, in the fallow land and and the uh, shallow or river there is some mix mixing of colors so here you can uh, when you going to clustery of image so here you you if the threshold limit you can change little bit to do your classification to get your classification result better thank you Thank you for watching this video.